Hello everybody and welcome back again. Um, this is my second film that I'm doing um, today and I thought it would be really great for me to share with you a few uh, basically candles that I have that aren't Bath and Body Works. So these are currently candles that I have not burnt. And again, like I said before, I burn a candle from start to finish. Um, I don't just burn half and put it away. It just it would I probably wouldn't be able to sleep at night. That's just how I am. It's how I roll. So anyway, moving along, um, basically I'm going to share with you all the candles that I have that are non Bath and Body Works, different sizes. Um, for the most part, 95% of them are Yankee Candle, and one candle is a Woodwick candle at, that I can see. Yes. So basically what it is, is up, up here in Canada, at least where I'm from on Vancouver Island, there's only one place to get proper Yankee candles and like Bed Bath, no two places, Bed Bath and Beyond, but that's an hour and a half drive for me, just in one direction. And then there's another place um, heading north for me and it's, uh, what is it? It's like the Bay department store, but it's a sub subsidiary of uh, the Bay. Um, oh. Home Outfitters, that's what it is. Home Outfitters, but the thing is that their selections are horrible. So I tend to go and that's where I find um, between Home Sense, Home Outfitters, and Winners. Um, I tend to, at Winners and Home Sense are the older, or not the proper Yankee Candle, like the ones that I see like Sean and, and Charlie and all them. Uh, hauling. They're, they're still a Yankee Candle, but they're slightly different, I guess, um, collections. And then I have only a couple uh, that I've picked up at the Home Outfitters because um, I just don't find their selection very good and they never make, they never change anything. So other than some staples, um, pretty much pick anything up that's on sale that catches my eye. So that's pretty much what I have for you right now. So um, starting with, oh, I will say though, I do have four candles, small ones from Yankee Candle that I got um, from Rexall of all places. They were Christmas scented, which you'll see, but that's right, I did find four, well, two cents, but I found a total of four candles from Rexall Drugstore. I don't know. So anyway, the first Yankee Candle that I got at Winners was a Blackberry Cream. Again, sorry about the glare, you guys, but holding on to what little sunshine we have. No, it smells really, I mean, cold throw. I don't know so much about Yankee Candle. I'm just learning. It smells yummy. I I still think my blackberry uh, cobbler from uh, Candles by Victoria and Cold Sniff smells better, but we'll give it a try. Um, this one I picked up at Winners as well, which I'm not sure about. It's called Coral Shores, and I got it mostly for the, the picture on the front. Um, I got it for $9.99, which I still think is a bit much for how little you get, I think, in my mind. Um, I got it mainly for the picture because my bathroom, I have like a conch cell from, uh, was it Cayman Islands from when I was like 10 years old. Uh, you know, I like the beachy theme in my my bathroom. So anyway, I bought that. It's It's got a bit of a musk in it. And yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. Like a beachy musk, it still got that bit of that sand in it. Well, we'll see. Again, with these candles, I don't know what the throw is going to be like or any of that. Um, when I do empties, I will explain uh, each empty that I have for you. So these next candles I got at Rexall. These are the same. They're the Yankee Candle Joy to the World. These ones were $4.99 at Rexall because I got them in like May and they're Christmas. Christmas scent. It smells like evergreen, fresh evergreen. So because they were small, I bought two of them for my great room at Christmas time when I put my tree up and just to give it a little bit more of a Christmas-esque. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying it. So anyway, that's what I got. And then um, I also picked up, also from Rexall Drugstore for $4.99, is Yankee Candles Christmas Sparkle. So yeah, it's like a mint. It's sort of it almost smells like a toothpaste. It smells like a mint, like a winter mint. Winter mint, there you go. Again, I'll wait to burn those until Christmas time and let you know how I felt with the throw. Again, Yankee candles are not the easiest for me to find up here in Canada and the, and the um, selection's really poor. So 
I went to, this one was Home Outfitters. This is the place where they have Yankee Candle, but they don't have a lot of selection. And I got this for $12.66 Canadian. It is the Cranberry Chutney. Oh, this smells so good. Almost like cranberry jam. Or like, I guess, I don't really eat the cranberry out of the can, but if I guess if you were to eat cranberry out of the can for your Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner, that would probably be it. It's very sweet, very yummy. Again, I'm saving that for Christmas time. That's the hat. And let me see what else. Oh yeah, for the same same store, I found for $14.96 a Pure Radiance Yankee Candle in Pumpkin Pumpkin. This smells so good. And Pure Radiance, I'll put this in my bedroom and let it crackle. I don't like the crackle ones in my living space because if I'm watching television, I'm like, whoa, what's going on? Whereas I, in the background, in the bedroom, I'm like, okay, that's good. And again, sorry for my hands, I'm rowing again. So it looks a little nasty. Anyway, so yeah, this is going to be great for fall when I start burning some of like my pumpkin pie and more of my autumnal scents from Bath and Body Works is when I'll probably uh, burn this one. And also from the same store, I've got a Pure Radiance Yankee Candle in Cinnamon Scone. And this one I got for $8.96. I mean, like how many? I don't even know. In grams. Sorry guys from the States. It says in grams, 623 grams. So whatever that is in ounces. But it's fabulous. Oh, I feel like I could do, like tease somebody, sorry guys, I could tease someone thinking I actually baked, <laughs> which actually I'm a good baker. I'm good at cooking and good at baking, but I have no one to bake for except for the guys at the fire hall. So that's all I got. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah, there you go. Digress. Um, the next two candles I got at home sense, which is a, like a sub to winners, uh, stores in Canada. Anyway, so I've got two of the cannoli cream puff. And Mrs. Kong's mom, I remember watching her. I think she said she got, she bought these kind of the same way, I, the reason why I bought them. They smell amazing, but apparently the throw isn't that great. So I did buy two in hopes that putting two in this great room here, we would probably get the, you know, a fairly good throw or some sort of smell. Now it does smell like a cannoli cream puff. Rich cream chocolate vanilla yeah it smells really it really does smell good on cold uh cold throw so i can only hope that it'll do well and when it does actually burn so these last four candles i have um i picked them up at winners in canada so um I never used to be a lemon person. I hated lemon everything. And I know, I'm sorry, again, hate is a strong word, blah, blah, blah. But I didn't. I hated lemon. And now I'm like, I guess because I'm getting old. Yeah, I'm getting old. Kind of happens. I just like the smell of lemon now. I don't know how this one will do. But this one's called Lemon... Oh, jeez. What did you call you at the bottom here? Ah, it's like a lemon... Lemon creamy cake? I don't know, because there's so many words. All you guys from the States probably get these a lot more often, but it smells yummy. I smell more lemon and vanilla, but I wouldn't say I smell cake. So, yeah. We'll see how that does. I might save that one for the springtime, because it's kind of like a spring kind of scent. All right, I got the next one I got two of. And... I remember someone doing a review on this candle and saying, again, also this didn't have a greatest throw. And by the way, I don't have a, a luminary or whatever that is that goes on top. Never been able to find one up here in Canada. And I refuse to order too much online anymore because our dollar, I'm sorry, is like 75 cents to the American dollar. And I just can't do it. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got my basket ready for candles by Victoria for hopefully, if it doesn't get better, it, I won't be making an order until probably October, November, but you know, our dollar sucks. So anyway, for um, at Winners Digressing Again, I got two of these Yankee Candle Garden Parties. These ones were $14.99. This smells more like cake, vanilla, frosting. I 
don't know why it even has a picture of like flowers because I get no flowers in this at all. And I don't even know if I told you the price on all the other ones. My apologies, you guys. Um, this lemon one was $14.99 and the two cannoli cream puffs, $14.99. So there we go, we caught up there. But yeah, this one, I'm not sure why it has a picture of a, like flowers. I don't know if they were trying to be like the Bath and Body Works. Um, what was that one? That one that was cake and, and floral that everyone's gaga's for. And no, like we didn't get it up here, at least in my store. We didn't. But yeah, it smells good. We'll see how it throws. Again, that's why I bought two in hopes that maybe two of them would have a proper throw. And then this is my only Woodwick uh, candle that I haven't burnt yet. It is gorgeous. If it can smell half as good as it does on cold sniff, I will be delighted and elated. For $12.99, found at Home Sense actually, this one. I've got the Woodwick um, and Cranberry. Oh, sorry, Pomegranate. That's <laughs> my bad, Pomegranate. And again, that's got the Woodwick. It smells like fall, like fruity fall. Mm, it smells so good, it really does. I'm excited to burn that one. Again, I've got an array here that'll go from like fall, and we've got a little bit of winter, and we got some stuff I'll save till for spring, and, and it's all good. So that's what candles are for, is to give myself a little extra comfort, I guess, while I'm sitting at home waiting for my painter to go off or watching a movie. So anyway, guys, I just thought I'd share with you all the candles I do have that are not Bath & Body Works. So again, everyone, take care and have a great weekend.